previously on Horror Big Brother. The game was down to the final eight as everyone fought in a Void Critter style HOH competition with Pearl coming out on top. Predator did manage to get second place and the power to bestow a murder token onto somebody, and that person was Ghostface, shaking the house to its core. Now, there were three people with murder tokens, Predator, Pearl, and Ghostface, and this week is the last week for the murder token twist. With Pearl as HOH, she nominated Jason Voorhees and Amanda Young, and in the Power of Veto competition, Megan ended up winning and keeping the nominations the same. So the final vote was between Jason Voorhees and Amanda Young, and in a close three to two vote, Jason Voorhees was sent packing and became the next member of the jury. Will someone get murdered today by the murder token twist? And who will become the next members of the jury? Let's sit back and find out in today's episode of Horror Big Brother. Hello, everybody. It's time for another episode of Horror Big Brother. Crazy to think we're at the ninth episode mark. I don't even know what's going to happen this week. There are so many potentials that could happen. We could lose someone due to the murder token twist. We could see maybe two people go today, uh, which is wild. And we are getting down to the wire. Now, I'm still trying to decide if I want to do a crazy finale where maybe we have our final six compete in a last episode i don't know listen listen all i know is when i film these big brother and survivor series in the sims it's usually the last few episodes that are very boring because there's nothing for the sims to do so i'm thinking maybe i consolidate it all into one episode we'll see and I've had a few of you ask whether or not I'm gonna do another reality show series after this one. I'm still not sold yet on whether or not we will do that. We'll have to wait and see, but I love seeing everyone chatting down here. Look at this. They're all probably like, girl, we finally got Jason Voorhees out of this house. <laughs> oh, Pearl said she's bored. She's over it. Xenomorph's got uh, important business meetings to go to as you do now pearl's game really skyrocketed this last week getting jason Voorhees out of the house has been her target for a while so now that she's finally been able to do it she is sitting pretty but just like all the hohs before her she is going to need someone else to win hoh that she can trust otherwise oof, she might be sent packing this week now we learned a lot of interesting things about the cast we learned that ghostface is in the bottom three relationships for predator which was wild to say the least and then we learned that tiffany had a really strong alliance with both amanda young and jason Voorhees. so uh now i'm assuming tiffany is going to want to work with amanda young more tiffany also has an extremely strong alliance with predator so i think that is the duo to watch oh oh okay <laughs> the football team sports day is Starting. Y'all ready for some football? Yeah, no, I'm not ready for some football. Sorry about it. Oh my God, I did the thing again. I did the thing again. Now, Xenomorph and Pearl, y'all gotta, y'all gotta hash this out. Y'all, I've got, I don't know. Let me check, let me check, let me check. I don't think y'all have a strong, no, y'all don't have a super strong relationship. So you're gonna have to work through that to make sure you have each other's back. Damn, they are all just really sitting here chatting away, huh? Y'all don't wanna do nothing else, huh? Not a single thing. You don't go swimming. You don't go find Theta. Oh, oh, I forgot. Do y'all see that I added tadpoles? Isn't it cute? It's kind of creepy too. And I also had this, this like creepy light that's in 
the pool. Oh, love it. Okay, but the tadpoles though. I'm sorry. I would not want to swim in that, but it adds, you know, a little something something to the to the pool. You know that this water is not chlorinated at all. Now, I've been low-key watching this conversation between Predator Tiffany and Amanda Young. There have been a few negative scores, so I don't know if that's between Tiffany and Amanda Young or if it's with Amanda Young and Predator. Let's see, what's Amanda Young's relationship with Predator? Eh, not that good. Wait, why is she embarrassed? Awkward comment? <gasps> what did Tiffany say? Oh, Tiffany said something embarrassing. All right, and here we have um, Xenomorph decapitating themselves with the workout gear. You're not even using your hands. That's actually impressive. You're using your wrists. Squish your face. <laughs> that looks so silly. Work, Xenomorph. Don't skip leg day. Yep, don't skip leg day. Yeah. Rising up. Da -na -na -na. Da -na 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 -na. Oh, there, there she is. Our veto champion on the treadmill once again. Oh. oh, please don't fall. Oh my God, they all finally left the living room and they decided to congregate into the kitchen. Love that for y'all. There she is, the most interesting cast member, Theta. What up, Theta? How you doing, girl? I wonder who Theta would vote to win. I mean, she'd probably vote Pearl, let's be real. That's our homie. Nothing too interesting happening. Did you pee? Xenomorph, what the hell? Why is there a puddle of water near your exercise machine? That is disgusting. Where did Xenomorph go? You're confident? Yeah, you confidently peed all over the floor, you nasty. Whoa, 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 buddy. I thought he was about to get stung by the bees or something. They have done nothing with these bees lately. And for that, I'm disappointed. I really wanted them to do more, which is funny because when I had the bees in the Survivor season, uh, Drag Queen Survivor, they could not stop messing with the bees. Y'all know that girl on TikTok? It was all in an effort to save the bees. Y'all know who I'm talking about. She would slay in the Big Brother house. Ah, uh, Xenomorph, let, let Amanda Young sit down. They're getting in the way there, rude. Oh, uh, Tiffany! Tiffany, put some clothes on. Oh my Lord. You know what? This house's mentality has become very naked nudity lately. Y'all are about that naked nud nudist life. I mean, she's not nude, but you, you, get, you get what I'm saying. Oh, damn, they said ping pong and now they're saying beer pong. Or I guess juice pong. Oh, damn! That was impressive, Tiffany. Where was that skill at all these HOH and veto competitions? There is none of this. You have to be throwing. You have, damn, that was good too, Pearl. Slick them. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, they're they're really getting into this. Okay, so we have Xenomorph and Predator talking. Oh, okay. <laughs> Extra. We get it. You want attention. Um, anyway, we have a great conversation between Xenomorph and Predator. If these two make it to the final two, I'm sorry. That is so iconic that Alien versus Predator is our finale for Horror Big Brother. Like, could you imagine? Could you imagine? That would be so cool. Okay, who's gonna win this heated match? Come on, Tiffany. Can you make... Tiffany, come on. Really? Really. Me! <laughs> oh, girl, don't cry about it. Shit. Uh -huh. Damn, okay, Pearl. Pearl's been kind of a comp beast. Yeah, GG, Pearl. You did that. All right, Xenomorphs made food for everybody. Their go-to mac and cheese. Oh, Amanda Young made it. Oh, that Xenomorph did. My bad. I mean, not giving women credit. It is going to be very interesting to see if the murder token twist does end up taking someone out, especially with us getting so far into this game. I, it, it truly could happen to anybody. Um, Just for recap, the three people that have murder tokens are Predator, Pearl, and Ghostface. So they're the only ones who could potentially leave today. If anyone else in the cast gets a murder token, it's fine. All the murder tokens after this episode are getting wiped clean. This is the last week that this twist can happen. So they're the only three that are at risk to potentially leave. It's pretty terrifying if you ask me. And I'm glad that you all have enjoyed the murder token twist. I wanted something that was obviously akin to Horror Big Brother. Uh, but I also wanted something that has never been done before on Big Brother, like the actual show. Damn, what are you making? Oh, y'all switching it up now. What is this? Tortilla wrapped veggie dog. Okay, we're, we're exploring new recipes. We're seeing growth. 
We're seeing an understanding of the culinary arts. Oh my God, they're gonna be up late, aren't they? Whoa, Tiffany. Tiffany's, Tiffany's flirting with Amanda Young. Tiffany's flirting with Amanda Young. It's happening again. Tiffany? Oh my God. She's like, something about that rotting pig head is just really turning me on. Oh yeah, baby. Is she gonna take a flirty poop? No, that's not a thing. <laughs> Oh, wait, Tiffany's liberal use of medication when she's not sick has caused some unfortunate side effects. Uh-oh, hold up, Dylan to the rescue. This can't tam tamper with the gameplay. Over-medicate it, no! Okay, wait, that is so on brand for Tiffany, but yeah, we're gonna delete that. We're gonna delete that. Never mind. didn't happen. We don't need her all drugged up. <laughs> that would be so bad. <laughs> Tiffany's like even extra flirtier because of it. Which ship are you on? Are you team Tiffany and Demogorgon or are you team Tiffany and Amanda Young? I need to know. Let me know down below. Oh my God, look at this. It was love at first death. Damn, when Chucky's away, Tiffany will play. Don't you do, oh, I thought he's gonna go pee in the, in the bush. All right, Predator. Predator's here to show off. Okay. That looked fun. I want to do that. I mean, you may have killed a few tadpoles along the way. <laughs> Ew, what is with Xenomorph farting all the time? So far, pretty t- Oh, Amanda, I don't know. What's your problem? Why are you so- Why you got to take it out on Skelly Bear? Why? This is just rude and disrespectful. Okay, let's watch. <laughs> wait, that was kind of f***ed up of me. I'm like, wait a minute. You're not going to go beat up this stuffed animal, are you? Let me watch. Hold on, let me, gra let me grab the tape recorder. Yeah, yeah. Amanda Young, this is terrible of you. Oh, oh she didn't hit Skelly Bear. This is growth. This is growth. <gasps> oh my God, she only yelled at Skelly Bear. Okay, it's late. I'm going to let them all get to bed. And in the morning, we're going to do our head of household competition. See you all there. It's now time for the head of household competition where our six remaining contestants minus the HOH will be competing for the title of head of household in a basketball tournament. How this will work is they're going to be going head to head against each other in a dunk comp. Oh. <laughs> Yes, Slay. They're going to be going head to head against each other in a dunk challenge. So we're going to see whether or not they can rise to the ranks, jump and dunk the hoop. Now, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I haven't checked to see if everyone can do the dunk competition. If they can't, we'll just do a good old fashioned shootout. We'll have three people go against each other. Then we'll have three other people go against each other. Whoever won both of those heats will then go head to head in another basketball challenge where one of them will win and become our brand new head of household. Now, reminder, there is a murder token twist. So whoever gets second place will be able to bestow a murder token onto someone in the game. And whoever wins head of household or wins the power to bestow a murder token onto somebody, they will have their murder token removed from their record. So it's a way for those that have murder tokens to keep themselves safe. Let's get this basketball challenge started and find out who will be running this week of the game. So I just checked and sadly they all can't do the dunk competition. So for now, we're just gonna do the hoops competition. Darn it. Maybe I'll do a dunks competition if the two people who are at the very end have a fitness score of three and are able to do it. Our first heat is Ghostface versus Tiffany versus Xenomorph. Now, I believe at the end of the hoops challenge, it tells you who wins, so we don't actually have to track and see who makes these. Okay, wait a minute, Tiffany, work. I'm not actually sure if it's accurate or not who actually makes the baskets or not. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, Xenomorph can who? Yeah. Hey, okay. All right, Ghostface is going in. Flop. Wah, wah. <laughs> uh, oh. Ooh. You nerd. Bam, baby. Oh, shit. Aw, oh, Ghostface sucks. <laughs> All right, so after hitting the hoops, let's find out who won. Now you can tell who won by the moodlets that they get. Tiffany is sad, so I'm assuming, yeah, 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 yeah. So she's got court loss. It's tough losing a basketball game that close. I'm so sorry, Tiffany, you have been eliminated from this head of household competition. And let's see, Ghostface. Ghostface is still, oh, waiting to shoot. Okay, 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 you gonna shoot? 
see what's xenomorph oh wait xenomorph has something court royalty oh okay so xenomorph has emerged victorious what a great game so he just must be bugged out congratulations xenomorph you have won the first heat and we'll move on to the finale of this head of household competition up next we've got megan we've got let me just check megan amanda young and predator Woo! it's time for heat number two we got predator versus megan versus amanda young wow they all suck they all suck so bad <laughs> no one's made a basket yet oh my god they're so bad Oh, Ooh, they're talking. They're talking smack on the court. Hey, let's go, Amanda. Anchimus. Whoa. So after heat number two, let's find out who won. Again, it's based off the moodlets. Amanda Young does not. Oh, this is how could she lose? Oh, she's angry. Losing a basketball challenge like that could be so demoralizing. Oh, okay. Amanda Young did not win. Megan doesn't have it. She just has the waiting to shoot. Oh, but Predator does. Predator has the court royalty moodlet, which does mean Predator has emerged victorious. What a great game. Congratulations. Predator, you have moved on to the finale of this head of household competition, which also means that regardless if you get first place or second place, your murder token off your record is gone. Congratulations, no matter what, you cannot get murdered via the murder token twist anymore. But we still have one more battle. We've got Xenomorph versus Predator. We have truly alien versus Predator for our finale in this head of household. One of you will become our new head of household and one of you will be the last person to bestow a murder token onto someone in this game. Let's go. Alien versus Predator. Here we go. In a basketball hoop off. Where's that sequel? That's what we need. Oh. This is huge for their alliance. Oh, nay. Oh, nay. Uh -huh. Ew, farting on the court. All right, we have the final heat complete. Let's find out who our brand new head of household will be for this week. And the person who managed to win this basketball competition was Xenomorph. Xenomorph once again has the court royalty moodlet. Congratulations, Xenomorph. You are the brand new head of household for this week, which means you will have to put up two nominees that you want for eviction. It's gonna be a wild week. We've got Alien and Predator controlling this game. Let's figure out who is potentially going to get murdered. And here we are. The final murder token bestowed in Horror Big Brother. For anyone that doesn't know how the murder token twist works, here is exactly how it goes. By random order, we are gonna showcase Predator's bottom three relationships in the household. Then by random draw, one of them will be given a murder token. If a contestant has two murder tokens, that is enough and they will be murdered out of the game and evicted from Horror Big Brother. In no particular order, Amanda Young, Ghostface, Pearl. Y'all, this is gonna get crazy. We have two people that are in the bottom of his relationships that have two, or that already have a murder token. And if they get two, they're eliminated, which are Ghostface and Pearl. So if by random draw, either Ghostface or Pearl gets this murder token, they are gone and become the next member of the jury. Oh, I'm actually sweating, y'all. This is so silly. We're just playing The Sims, but here we go. I am going to pick it, or have Siri pick a number between one and six. One, oh, <laughs> 
Sorry about that, I got nervous. So we're gonna have Siri pick a number between one and six. If it lands on one or two, Amanda Young will get the murder token. If it lands on three or four, Ghostface will get the murder token. If it lands on five or six, Earl will get the murder token. Here we go. Siri, please pick a number between one and six. The answer is two. The answer is two, which does mean that Amanda Young gets the murder token, and that means nobody is going home due to the murder token twist. Oh my god. Ghostface and Pearl dodged a major bullet. With that, that means that the murder token twist is gone. So the murder tokens on Ghostface, Pearl, and Amanda Young's profiles are gone. They don't have to worry about that anymore. And now they can just focus on playing the game. Speaking of the game, we now have to go into the nomination ceremony and find out exactly who Xenomorph is targeting for this week. It's now time for the nomination ceremony. Xenomorph, as the head of household, you must nominate two of your fellow contestants for potential eviction this week. So Xenomorph, who are you putting on the chopping block? And to actually not that big of a surprise, Xenomorph has nominated Tiffany. Ooh, Pearl is mad. Yo, Pearl is so mad. And Pearl, this is based off of Xenomorph's relationship scores with both, the, both of these women. Um, I'm not too shocked about this. Xenomorph has always been kind of targeting the women in the house. And now that there is a majority of women in the house, I am not shocked by this. I am very curious, though, to see how the rest of the house is going to feel with both Tiffany and Pearl up here because they both have very strong alliances with other people outside of this, outside of the three, the HOH and the two nominees. So... It could still be either of these women's game. They can save themselves in the power of veto, and they could potentially save themselves in the votes. It's now time to let them loose in the house and let them try and build some relationships to hopefully save themselves at the vote. All right, so now we're gonna uh, let them loose, see what kind of conversations they have. Can Tiffany and Pearl save themselves in this game? I also added ducks. <laughs> so random but i thought you know why not add some duck ducks at spice up life and see ghostface and predator wanted to swim with the ducks and for that they're real also those ducks have no fear they are not running they are not scared look how cute they are who's a cute little duck now theta theta might want to eat you but for now look at the cute little duck the pearl heads and the girlies that love Tiffany, y'all are probably quaking right now because one of your faves might be going home this week. Now we got a little bit of a competition between Xenomorph and Tiffany. We got, oh my God, now Megan's joining them for the swim. Damn, everybody and their mother wants to exercise and swim. Oh my God, Theta's showing up. The pool is full. Now with Xenomorph being the HOH, they're one of the wild cards in this cast. Um, they actually don't have like super strong relationships with anybody. Oh, okay, overachiever. They don't really have super strong relationships with anybody. They obviously like are aligned still with Ghostface and Predator and whatnot, but they, they, <laughs> they are their relationship scores all over the place. What is the, what is this? Why are they all randomly deciding to swim? What is going on? Relaxing swim, water's fine. Oh, it's because it's crazy hot out. That makes sense. The heat wave is causing everyone to want to swim. Amanda Young, meanwhile, is like, I need to be near a fire. Not only do I have the rotting carcass of a pig on my head, I also want to stand near the fire on a hot, heated day. Okay, wait, we got Ghostface talking with Pearl. Tiffany talking with Amanda Young. Get those relationship scores up. You're going to need them. Not them getting their relationship scores up. I, I don't know if y'all saw that. They're getting their relationship scores up. They're not even chatting. They're just in the same room. That's how much of homies they are right now. Yeah, they're both really cool to each other. Look at that relationship score. Predator and Xenomorph, they're on the same wavelength. <laughs> Wait, why are you scared? What's go what was that? Hydro, no. Fear of pool deniers. Conveniently ignore the everyday horrors of the pool. Wait, why are you scared of pools all of a sudden? What? Overflowing gutters. 
That was so random. I've never seen a Sim have that before. She just had a random spurt of fear of pools. Very strange. I think this is the first season in a long time of doing these reality shows in The Sims 4 where I truly have no idea who's gonna win. Normally I can like narrow it down to like three people, but The Sims is significantly updated since I've done a reality show. And I think they've really done a great job of updating the autonomous um, behavior of Sims. So it really is anyone's game. It all comes down to those HOHs and vetoes. Ooh, now Tiffany's playing chess with Predator, trying to get that relationship score up. Let's see, how are Tiffany? Oh, wow, that's right. Tiffany and Predator, I forgot, are like super strong allies. So this is probably not good for Predator's game that Tiffany's on the block. Predator's gonna have to do what he can to try and save her. I actually think Tiffany and Predator are stronger allies than Predator and Xenomorph are. Not the entire cast being in the study. What is going on here? The place to be in the mansion. All right, I think we have given them enough time to chat amongst each other. We're gonna now set up for the power of veto competition and we're gonna find out who will be Victor... Oh, don't, no, uh-uh, no, no one's dying on my watch. Who will be able to uh, win the power of veto and potentially save one of the nominations? It's now time for the veto ceremony. Amanda Young, as the winner of the power of veto, you can either save one of the two nominations or you can keep the not <laughs> rude Xenomorph, or you can keep the nominations the same. This is all based off your relationship scores with the two nominees and the HOH. Amanda Young, what do you want to do? And Amanda Young has used the power of veto to save Tiffany, which does mean, Xenomorph, you're going to need to renominate someone in Tiffany's position. You cannot nominate Tiffany again, and you cannot nominate Amanda Young, who has the power of veto, which means. Either Predator, Ghostface, or Megan are going to be sitting in that spot. Okay, Xenomorph, as the head of household, who are you going to be nominating in Tiffany's spot? And Xenomorph has decided Megan will be the renomination, which sadly means either Megan or Pearl will be the next person. Exactly, music. Megan or Pearl will be the next person evicted from Horror Big Brother. There's only four votes, so let's find out exactly who the house has decided to evict this week. First up to vote is Amanda Young, who's had a really strong run towards the end of Horror Big Brother. How will she use her vote tonight to make sure she has secured a spot in that final three? Amanda Young, who do you vote to evict? Thank you very much. Predator doesn't have a strong alliance with either of the two nominees, so his vote tonight, especially with there only being four votes, will have a huge sway on who goes home. Predator, who do you vote to evict? Thank you very much. Ghostface has a very strong alliance with Pearl in this game, so it would not be a shock if he decided to throw his vote over to Megan. Ghostface, who do you vote to evict? Thank you very much. So far, the vote is two votes Pearl, one vote Megan. Tiffany still has to vote. If Tiffany decides to vote for Megan, we will have our very first tie of the season and the HOH Xenomorph will have to break the tie. Tiffany has not been a competition beast this season, but what she lacks in physical prowess, she makes up for in social game. How will she vote tonight to make sure her social game continues to shine? Tiffany, who do you vote to evict? Thank you very much. And for the very first time in Horror Big Brother, we have a tie. It's time to reveal the news to the house guests. Hello, house guests. It's time to reveal the results. In a two to two vote, we have a tie, which does mean Xenomorph, you get the final vote of who you want evicted this week and the person that Xenomorph has decided to evict from Horror Big Brother is Pearl. I am so sorry, Pearl. That means with a three to two vote, you have been evicted from Horror Big Brother and you are the next member of the jury. And there goes Pearl. A lot of people were rooting for you, Pearl. 
I myself was also rooting for you, but sadly, your time has come in this game. And just like that, we lost another competition beast in Horror Big Brother. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. And we're down to the final six in Horror Big Brother. We started, I believe, with 16 contestants. I'm bad at math. <laughs> I'm gay, I'm bad at math. Uh, but we are down to the final six. So either Xenomorph, Tiffany, Predator, Megan, Ghostface, or Amanda Young will be the final house guest in Horror Big Brother and will take home the prize of nothing because they're Sims and they, they don't get any prizes. But thank you so much for uh, tuning in this week. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and comment down below. Make sure to become a YouTube member if you want to check out all of the insider tea of the season, figure out all the relationship scores, the jury scores, see my live reactions to figuring out who's going home each week. I am excited. I am tempted. Chat, let me know in the comments down below. Should I do a super finale next week? Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. What if this next week, the entire end of the game happens? We do a super fast version of Big Brother where we send home three more contestants. We get down to a final three and we do the jury votes all in one go. Let me know if that's something you're interested in. It could be an action-packed episode, but it'll take a lot of time and a lot of effort. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I will see you all next week with another Horror Big Brother. And until then, stay awesome, stay beautiful, you lovely people. Bye-bye.